Hello again, everybody. This is Steve Grizzetti, your man from Movie Picks, and here we are in part eight of our eight part basic training for Adobe Premiere Elements. And we've got a finished movie here. It's got titles, it's got music, it's got narration, it tells a great story. It's time to share our masterpiece with the world. To output our movie, all we do is go up to the upper right hand corner and click on Export and Share. And that will open up the Export and Share workspace. For the most part, you can use it as default settings. You don't really have to mess with much here. It's going to give you a high quality video that looks every bit as good as your original videos or as your source material. By default, if you look in the lower right hand corner, you'll see that your movie is output based on your project settings. That's why we said early on in this program, you want to think about how you're going to use your movie when you start your project. Because in my case, I was creating a movie that was 1920 by 1080, 29.97 frames per second video. And that's going to be the default output from that video. So again, think about at the very beginning when you're creating your project, how you're going to use or output your project, where you're going to use it. All you need to do essentially is select a name for your video, select a location on your hard drive you'd like to save your video to, and that's it. You can also play with the format if you'd like, although H.264 is a universal language for video. There's no reason to change that, but there are options under here if you want to create a custom output all the way down to QuickTime and Windows Media Files if you're so inclined. I usually keep it at H.264. And if you don't like the default settings for your output, you can uncheck these boxes and create a custom output size and resolution. I'm going to leave them as is and that will give me the optimal quality based on the project settings that I chose and based on the source material I used. Now by default this creates a file that outputs to your computer but there are options here for outputting directly to a social media site also. So for instance we can choose the option to output directly to YouTube by turning on that option. In order to output to one of these social media sites, I first have to sign in and OK the link between Premiere Elements and that site. And I do that just by going to the center of the screen here and clicking on Sign In. This will open up your web browser where you OK the link between the site and the program. You only have to do this once. And after that, you can output directly from the program. When you output a movie directly to a social media site, you have options here for adding keywords, for selecting a channel, selecting a playlist, giving it a title, description, and tags. And these will be automatically uploaded with your video directly to those sites. To export our movie or to finish our movie, to output it, we go to the lower right hand corner and click on the export button and our movie is generated. And that's really all there is to it. Adobe has done a great job upgrading the program in version 2025, making it a lot more like Premiere Pro and borrowing some elements from Premiere Pro. Got some exciting new titles and title templates and a nice new professional look. I hope you've enjoyed getting to know Adobe Premiere Elements in these eight sessions. And I hope you'll check out all the many tutorials at the Movie Picks channel at youtube.com. I'm Steve Grizzetti. I'm the man from Movie Picks. Thanks for spending time with me. I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.